Hey guys, it's Owen here from Otech, and I'm back with yet another unboxing. And this time I will be unboxing this ASRock H81 Pro BTC motherboard. So, this isn't a new board by any stretch of the imagination, but this is a pretty interesting board from the last gen. This is a Haswell board for LGA 1150, and it's an H81 board. So, why would I be unboxing this? Uh, nowadays then when there are new boards well I'll show you and once I unbox it that this is a pretty interesting card well you can already see from here this is meant to be for cryptocurrency mining where you're using a lot of GPUs because uh, it has a lot of PCIe X1 slots so you can fit like six GPUs on this thing and it'll mine really fast compared to most boards where Usually they're, they they support only 4 or 5 GPUs at max. But yeah, this was made when Bitcoin mining on GPUs were a thing. And when those things are still profitable. But now it's uh, unit A6 and GPU mining is really only profitable for the new, for the new uh, cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and also Zcash I think. Yeah, but... So this for GPU miners like those guys they can use this board and it's a pretty interesting board which I'll show you guys. But first let's take a look at the accessories. So there's the warranty card for this is all for Indonesians. Uh, so that's yeah, HDMI certificate paper thing. And here it is. See you see this board this board is also even equipped with 4-pin Molex connectors on the board itself to supply the, the connected GPUs with like extra power because you usually have 6 GPUs on this thing and if you don't you might have some kind of uh, brownouts or burnouts in my case uh, for the connectors since they're drawing too much power but yeah here's the driver CD which you should always never use and just download off the ASRock website for the latest one and here's the manual with multiple languages and you also got the standard SATA connectors two of those and also the back panel just a simple back panel it's not that most GPU miners are going to use it anyways because they're usually going to use some kind of custom case but yeah I guess it's nice if they even give that since this board is supposed to be as cheap as possible while still supporting as many GPUs as possible so let's take a look at the board itself right away you can see that this is a really interesting and weird board since it's so different from most of them with the PCIe layout you can see that they have five PCIe X1 slots those are all wired to the chipset so those things basically let you connect multiple GPUs on this thing and in cryptocurrency mining X1 slots or 16x slots it doesn't really matter for performance so this is just in a matter of putting as much PCIe slots as possible in the board and then they also got a single PCIe X16 slot now the socket itself is just an LG1150 so it's a Haswell board and it's a uh, it's a very good reason why it's still just a hassle board since this board was developed uh, when Bitcoin mining was a thing just like I said and at that, at that time uh, Haswell was just launched and Skylake was nowhere to be seen and from what I've heard is that Skylake chipsets uh, in the Z170 and B150 and all those kind of stuff they don't support multiple X1 slots like this for GPUs since they have the new um, lanes if Intel called it or something where the motherboard maker can use it for this different stuff such as more USB slots or more PCIe slots now those things are unstable and usually they don't work well with multiple GPUs so this thing being Haswell is actually a good thing uh, plus uh, the CPUs are cheap nowadays but yeah so this has six PCIe slots and you can see the two Molex connectors for extra power so ASRock recommends you to connect these when you use multiple GPUs and then you can see that this board also has a lot of uh, fan connectors because usually mining rigs ne needs a lot of fans 
So there's the CPU, two case fan, uh, case fan connectors, and then there's also another case fan connector, which is also accompanied by another 4-pin case fan connector, which is kind of unique for a cheap board since usually cheap boards only have one or two. But since this is made for mining, well, you need as much cooling as you want, as you can. And over here you can see there's the two DDR3 memory slots. And on the bottom itself you can see four SATA slots. I mean, all of these features aren't exactly very important when considering that this board is mainly used for cryptocurrency mining. So the most important feature is that there's a lot of PCIe slots. On the back it has PS PS2 ports and also the serial port, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. A VGA port, an HDMI port, two uh, USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, a uh, LAN connector. I think it's just a Realtek LAN, which is fine for just mining. And there's some audio outputs. Sorry about that. Audio outputs, which won't be really used in a mining rig, realistically. But yeah, that's about it, basically. Um, so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please leave a like and please subscribe if you want to see more of my unboxings and reviews and other videos hey everyone it's owen here from otech and i'm back with another daytime unboxing and today we're here with the parcolor red dragon rx 488 gigabyte card so first off this card is a cheaper version of their rx 480s their custom rx 480s they have the Red Devil, which is their higher end card, and this is the cheaper version, which is the Red Dragon. Now, the only difference, as I can tell, is just that the cooler is small.